Today, federal agents warned holiday shoppers that there is a flood of counterfeit goods out there. Everything from headphones and sports jerseys to toys and watches. And Seth Doan has discovered something else. Fake paintings from the number one source of counterfeit products, China. At a gallery, this would sell for about 450 on frame to maybe $500 framed. And the counterfeit online is how much? $23.99. New Jersey artist Clinton Hobart discovered counterfeits of his painting Three Persimmons were for sale on a website based in China. No artist wants to find that someone has taken their stuff and is passing their, it off as their own. His angry emails to the site went unanswered. So we ordered five copies of the painting to find out who was behind the knockoffs. It's, it's crippling. This is it. This is my income. So for them to be selling hundreds of these, they're directly taking money out of my pocket. The return address pointed to Nanjing, China. According to the PayPal receipt, a man named Yu Qi received our online payment. We found him, set up a meeting, and secretly videotaped it. Nice to meet you. He told us there was good money to be made selling copied art online. Do you worry about uh, copyright in selling these paintings? Oh, you know, it's tough. The person who bought them should technically be responsible for copyright issues, he told us. Then we told him who we were. We've come across a website called oilpaintingstore.com and we purchased a painting. Uh, the money came to you. He claimed he'd never heard of the website or received payment that would have gone through his email. I'm really unaware of this, he told us. Yu Qi said that we should go to Dauphin Village, the largest mass producer of oil paintings in the world. 15,000 workers churn out $600 million worth of oil paintings a year. The majority are knockoffs. American hotel and retail chains are among its biggest customers. Under Chinese law, artists are only allowed to copy the work of other artists who've been dead for more than 50 years. But we commissioned four replicas of Hobart's painting for less than $40 each. U.S. law enforcement tells artists like Clinton Hobart there's little they can do unless they hire copyright attorneys. It takes so much money, you need to be so big in order to stop them, and they know it. He plans to watermark images of his paintings online, if only to make his counterfeiters' jobs a little harder. Seth Doan, CBS News, Nanjing, China.